a pastor of St. John the Evangelist Catholic Church, Father Chaz Kanoy. Welcome back to the show. Good to be with you, Bart. Happy Easter. Yes, happy Easter. Happy Holy Week. Happy Holy Week. Today, uh, you and, and Father Tim McDonald uh, were going to join us together, but he's not well. Correct. But he's, he's okay. He is okay, and he's uh, basically almost ready to go for the Easter Triduum. What a time to get so, sick. I know. <laughs> not the best week to be uh, under the weather. Well, we appreciate you taking time because it is, uh, it's the busiest week uh, of the year uh, for you. Holiest week, for sure. Holiest. Um, yes. And actually, uh, Holy Wednesday, there's not much, I don't think there's anything in the Bible about any of the, anything that happened. Yes, Did, there is actually. Is Today there? is spy, what's traditionally known as Spy Wednesday. Spy Wednesday is, is called that because this is the day that Judas basically sold out Jesus to the Pharisees and the Sanhedrin. And he basically sold Jesus out for 30 pieces of silver. And, um, you know, his, his friend, this one that uh, Jesus had invested three years in and be, became a close friend. And this is what happens, I guess, when we think we know better than Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and that was, that's actually the, that was the, the, what happened in advance of the, the personal betrayal. Correct. Like uh, the personal betrayal was the day of Holy Thursday night mm -hmm. after the Last Supper. He says, mm -hmm. Jesus already knew what was going to happen. He said, go, whatever you need to do, do quickly. And it's because of what had been set up on Spy Wednesday, mm -hmm. which is when um, Judas approached uh, the Sanhedrin and said, uh, you know, this isn't going well for me. And I, I, I can give you an in into Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, what will you pay me? 30 pieces of silver. And which, is, which was the, the price of, of quote unquote slave back in the Mosaic law of what you would have to give restitution for if, if a slave had, one, someone's slave was killed by. And so in, in essence, Judas kind of saw his friend as the price of a slave. Mm -hmm. um, Thursday is when, um, the traditional uh, events that most people are familiar with uh, that happen and get um, in the church that you actually uh, reproduce in some way, some of these, right? Yes, so you're talking about Holy Thursday, right. and, and then we have, so after 7 p.m. Uh, Holy Thursday evening Mass of the Last, Last Supper, we uh, bring the Eucharistic Lord, the body of Christ, into the Paris Center where we kind of make up a garden of repose where people can just, you know, be sit silently with the Lord and just as he was on that, that first Holy Thursday night in his agony in the garden and being betrayed by his, his, his closest friends, uh, abandoned by his closest friends. So uh, this yeah. week and until Easter Sunday, the, uh, the church is it's quiet, it's, it's uh, somber, it's not decorated. Correct. Uh, I think we actually have a live look at the uh, steeple of your church oh, through yeah, the, look uh, at that. the rain and haze. Is that from here? It's live from mm -hmm. here. That's neat. That's yeah. a heck of a camera that can capture it all the way from, from over here. And, and thank goodness we repainted our, our steeple because <laughs> it was just looking sad. And those, you know, those louvers, um, we had those repainted recently because uh, of just the years of of neglect, and mm -hmm. so I'm glad uh, it's it's shining white once again. <laughs> the uh, oldest Catholic church in Jackson County. Not only that, but uh, oldest Catholic church in the Diocese of Lansing. No kidding. Yes, yeah, so there's many older parishes, uh, but as far as you know, other parishes have torn down their church and rebuilt new ones. But that is the original church in, from 1856. Now it used to be red brick, but uh, underneath that current uh, limestone facade is the original brick. In fact, when we redid the bathrooms, you should check out our bathrooms. I think it's awesome. The Ritz-Carlton doesn't have anything on our bathrooms. We've got a stained glass. Uh, both, both of the bathrooms we discovered, we, they actually covered up this stained glass in our bathroom. Uh, and we discovered it when we redid the bathroom. And now you have this uh, both sides, there's two little bathrooms, and they have a beautiful stained glass uh, 
window of Jesus. And he's, as, as you're sitting on the throne, you're, Jesus is looking right down <laughs> at you. <laughs> oh my so, gosh, what were they thinking covering up stained glass? Exactly. Wow. That's, there was a lot of things that were, beautiful things that were covered up, like the frescoes and the, the beautiful artwork uh, was just made kind of whitewashed. And, and so we, we, are, we do want to restore it to its original beauty, but that'll take some time and significant funds. So we're patient, but slowly we'll, we'll bring it up back to speed. Let's talk about um, some Easter and some um, parish uh, traditions. First, Easter traditions about, for you personally, what, uh, what, what's Easter about? Easter is about new life, a resurrected life, uh, a, a dead to all uh, that keeps us from being the, the sons and daughters of God that God has made us to be and to be risen up with the life of Jesus, to be brought up into that new life, um, especially as we're coming out of this pandemic and, you know, we're like the walking dead coming out of this pandemic and, uh, and Jesus has come to uh, give us the abundant life once again. And, you know, it's about relationship. And so many of us have been kept from, from um, more personal relationship during this two years. And it's time to come out of the tomb, right? <laughs> A lot of people have not yet come back, have Yeah. They? And well, we're welcoming them back in this Easter. What's the, the schedule? We talked about Holy Thursday. Um, Good Friday, you also have a, a service at uh, noon, noontime? Uh, 1230. 1230. 1230. Okay. That's uh, also at Queens. And because my uh, confreres are not here, I did bring a reminder for myself, since I, don't, I haven't memorized their times, but uh, over at St. Mary's, it's, 12, uh, it's a 1 o'clock Good Friday service, 1230 at both Queens at our, and our place. Um, and the Holy Thursday service is seven o'clock all around, both St. Mary's, uh, Queens, and over at St. John. So, a yeah. lot, a lot, and well, you welcome new uh, Catholics into the church this weekend. Too. Correct. Yes, uh, great, great, to have, very joyful time in the church because that's when the sacraments of initiation, the big. Granddaddy of them all is, of course, the Easter vigil that begins at nine o'clock. It begins at nine o'clock. So, uh, because the tradition is that you, you ha the sun has to be all the way down, and and that's when you can start Easter vigil. And because lasts, that's like the first moment we can celebrate Easter Sunday. And it lasts how long? The vigil. It can last quite a while, like two and a half hours. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because it is the granddaddy of them all. So a normal Sunday Mass is, of course, just a little over an hour, but right. yeah. On uh, Sunday, you and uh, all the community working together for this annual tradition, bringing it back. We missed it the last, I think, two years. Yes. Are you talking about the community-wide Easter dinner? We are. Yes. And I, I was, uh, you know, Father Tim McDonald is, is a little under the weather, so I wanted to make sure to announce that everyone is invited to the community-wide di Easter dinner at 2 p.m. at Queen's Social Center. Come one, come all. Yes, all are welcome, as Father Tim McDonald would say. <laughs> and, uh, and so a reservation is required, so please call the parish at 562-8275. And now. you can come as a guest or you can come as a volunteer, as volunteers are still needed. There's approximately two to three hour shifts from setup to cleanup, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Hopefully I, I did that justice, Father Tim McDonald, Vicar General of the Diocese. You sold it very well. Yes. We'll see you um, Easter Sunday at uh, Queens Parish Center, mm -hmm. the, the school, for this uh, free community event. But please call so they have enough room. And they actually make, uh, I think, name tags for you. And uh, it's a really, um, they make you welcome. So They sure do. Yeah. Now, you're, uh, the parish has this uh, tradition, prayer around the cross. What's that? So that is, for those, you know, uh, back in the day, a lot of folks had Good Friday off, um, mm -hmm. but that is becoming less and less of the case. And so uh, normally, because Jesus hung on the cross, traditionally is known to be from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m., that's why you have Good Friday services in that time period. Mm -hmm. But because there's a lot of folks that uh, can't get work off anymore or... Uh, so we have 7 p.m. prayer around the cross. The cross is still there for veneration. And 
uh, people can go there and just be in, in, in meditation while our musicians of the parish uh, play sacred music uh, for their meditative reflection and prayer with the Lord. And so that's at 7 p.m. There's no, it's not a formal liturgy or anything like that. The, the choir and our, our musicians at St. John, beautiful, wonder, for those who have been to our uh, liturgies, you know how wonderful our musicians are. And so they will just be playing music um, during that time at 7 p.m. On Saturday, Holy Saturday, you're going to bless the Easter baskets. That's at St. Joseph Church, correct? So our St. John Parish has two locations, St. John Church uh, on the corner of, uh, of Cooper and Ganson, but then, or Francis, and, not Francis, Martin Luther King Jr. Drive. I still got to get used to that. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then, of course, we have a church, uh, St. Joseph Church on Waterloo. And at that church, we bless Easter baskets. So... The Polish tradition, well, it's a tradition throughout the, the church, but particularly our, the Polish tradition is to have certain food items blessed at that time. So they bring in their Easter baskets with butter and ham and all these things that were formerly prohibited during the Lent. And I go around and, and, and bless uh, the Easter baskets and have uh, the Holy Saturday reading because that's a, on Saturday at noon. Father Chaz gave up Facebook for Lent. Are you, going, yes. are you going back? You know, it's just been so freeing. Uh, it's, it's been great. I've been able to join Jesus in the desert and, and just grow closer to him. Uh, and, but yes, uh, ultimately, it's, it, it is a good communication tool. Uh, but to use it as a tool, as opposed to something to distract, as a distraction. And it's been very nice to not have that distraction. Um, it can, you know, sometimes we're just... Uh, drawn to the easy thing as opposed to the thing we should be doing. And so that is what the Lenten discipline has helped free me of. And so I hope to continue uh, that. Nice. Now bit. I'll put you on the spot real quick. Could mm -hmm. we and our uh, viewers have an Easter blessing from you? Oh, sure. Yes. And speaking of, uh, I gave up movies too. So you got to let me know. Have you seen uh, Father Stu, the movie by Mark Wahlberg? I have not. Okay, have you heard about it? I've, I've not seen any movies. I haven't heard of any movies. I, okay. I guess I gave them up too. Yeah, Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> you know Mark Wahlberg, yeah. the Marky Mark. Mm -hmm. boom, Wahlbergers. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he uh, came out with, you know, he's a devout Catholic, prays every, uh, significantly every single day, like at the top of the day, like four in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, and he came out with a movie called Father Stu, uh, and it's getting some good reviews. Father Bishop Barron gave it a great review. And so that is, uh, came out, it comes out today, actually. Today is Wednesday, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it comes out today. And um, so encourage you to see it and let me know on Easter Sunday whether you liked it or not, because I gave up movies too. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but yes, an Easter blessing on everyone. Is that now? All right. Well, I'll give you a Pauline blessing. Um, May the God of peace make you perfect in holiness. May he preserve you whole and entire spirit, soul, and body, irreproachable at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. May Almighty God bless everyone, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're very welcome. Good to see Good you. Happy Easter. You. Happy Easter to you. Happy Father, Easter, everybody. Father Chaz Kanoi from St. John, the Evangelist Catholic Parish. Stay tuned. Justin Schuberg is standing by.